Hello students, in this lesson we're going to talk about how to install Python on your computer. You'll see the full set of instructions on this page, lesson 1.1 in your course. I want to point out that we're installing Python 3 and not Python 2, it's very important. For this course we're going to be using Python 3.3.2, that's the version you should have on your computer. If you don't, you'll uh, want to download and install it. Uh, if you have an older version, you might want to upgrade to this version that we're using in this class. In order to download and install it, as it says here in the download instructions, you're going to go to python.org front slash download. There's a link right there. It'll open up this page. When you get in here, you're going to have to know the kind of computer that you're using. Uh, if you are on a Windows machine, you're going to use one of these first two links, either Windows or Windows 64-bit. If you don't know, um, what kind of computer you're on, uh, it's really quite easy to find out. If you find the computer uh, link here in um, somewhere in your Windows Explorer and you right click on it and open properties, you'll see, as I can see here, that I have a 32-bit operating system on this particular computer. So I need the 32-bit, not the 64-bit. And so again, that would be the first link here. The second one is for 64-bit. If you're on a Mac, a newer Mac, which is 64-bit, you can go ahead and uh, click on the third link. If you're on an older Mac, it would be this 32-bit uh, link here. If you're not sure, ask an adult and get some help. Okay, I'm going to click on that first one, and I'm going to encourage that you download it to your desktop on a Windows machine. And you can see it's downloading here. It's going to take a little bit because it's a large file. I'll come back as soon as it's done downloading. Okay, as you can see uh, on a Windows machine, it's downloaded a .msi file. I can find that now on my desktop. So let's minimize this window. Go to my desktop, and here we see the file that it downloaded. All you have to do is double click on that file, and you may have a security warning that you need to press run. Uh, some other windows will open, look like this, and you're going to install it for all users, and just simply click next. Go ahead and just choose all the default settings as far as where it wants to save it, etc. And click Next. Leave all these default settings. Click Next. And it may take a few minutes to install, but go ahead and let it run the install. And then you'll have Python 3.3.2 on your machine. 